Material science truly embodies the meaning of multidisciplinary scholarship. Material science as a field, as a discipline, stands at the crossroads of engineering, chemistry, physics, and even biology and environmental science. And if you look around, everything you see is a material. If you look at material science or material science and engineering programs around the country, they tend to be localized at one institution, in one department, in one college. What's unique about the Montana University System material science program is that it draws upon the strength from three different institutions. Montana State University in Bozeman, Montana, Montana Tech in Butte, Montana, and the University of Montana in Missoula. What the material science program does is bring those three institutions and really create a program whose strength is greater than just the sum of its parts. Well, I think really what we have at MSU that's quite unique is that we have a strong engineering component to the material science uh, research. And, and because we work so collegially together beyond borders between our both our sciences and engineering departments, we have this cooperation of research that spans science and engineering here at Montana State University with an emphasis on energy materials. What Montana Tech brings to the table for this particular program is our history of serving industry. And we've served industry in the capacity of material synthesis, fabrication, and processing. So the University of Montana has a strong program in chemistry, strong program in physics, and also strong programs in biomedical sciences. And so I feel that the University of Montana will make a real contribution in the area of materials chemistry and also in biomaterials. It's going to be a quality graduate program where students can really be involved in some exciting research and where they can really um, understand what's going on in a broader sense in the material science community. One thing that's kind of unique here is the material science program is made up of faculty that are not just material science and engineering faculty. We have faculty in chemistry, faculty in physics, faculty in the classic engineering fields. And so students that go here are guaranteed to get diversity of education because they are without a doubt going to be interacting with this broad sphere of disciplines that come together with this central focus of material science. And so it's exciting because students are going to be able to see the science and engineering behind materials from all the different important angles and so the breadth of what they're going to be able to see and that diversity of knowledge I think is going to really propel our students forward. The students can expect to receive a challenge first of all. I think that they're going to be in for a, a pleasant intellectual challenge in completing the coursework and participating in the research. My colleagues here at Montana Tech and at Montana State University and the University of Montana have a very high interest level, they're very enthusiastic about their program, they're very intense and serious about their research, and I think that those attributes are infectious, and I think that's going to be of tremendous benefit to the students. From a delivery perspective, we're really pioneering something new here in terms of delivering graduate courses. And our courses are going to all be offered via synchronous video based. So they're going to be classrooms that are going to be distant. You're going to be able to engage with faculty even if you're on a different campus through the video technology. That, that collaboration and that, uh, that interaction should be nearly as natural as a normal classroom environment. I think there's a lot of exciting things going on in the state in, in a variety of areas in material science that students could benefit from. All three communities are quite active in the area of material science in terms of startup companies. And these companies have been involved from the beginning of the development of this program and they're quite keen on working together with us as the program develops to provide opportunities for students to get some practical experience if they so choose. Well, the main thing that students are going to gain from their experience here, I think, is confidence. But I think the confidence factor comes in what, you know, ever career path that they choose, whether they want to continue with academics and become a research professor, if they want to enter industry and maybe be, get into technical management, uh, government possibilities. The uh, credentials that they'll attain by completing this program are going to certainly enable them to do that. Montana is very special for a number of reasons. One thing is the sense of community. Montanans take an intense pride in the state itself, being Montanans, 
the natural resources, uh, just the beauty of the state. And then I think what you'd find is the cities that each one of these uh, universities is located in, Bozeman, Missoula, Butte, all have their own particular cultures, and these cultures are complementary. Montana is a gorgeous state, and, and regardless of what campus you go to, our students love the outdoors here. And so if you like the outdoors, you know, there are so many opportunities to go skiing, hiking, biking, mountain biking, just minutes from where you're doing your research. And so that's really exciting because here we are with this research and technological hub with nature around us 360 degrees. So if you like being in the great outdoors and you want to be able to do world-class research in material science, we offer an opportunity like no other. If a student has a strong affinity for the science, has a strong affinity for the engineering, and has a strong affinity for the beauty, the opportunities that the natural landscape provides here, uh, there's really no better place to do graduate work.